a year or two later after their release, they're right back in jail because they can't find suitable work, suitable housing. Nearly a quarter of former South Carolina inmates will return to prison within three years. That's according to the Department of Corrections. But tonight, one group is working to make a change in inmates' lives. It's called Project Evolution, and our Brody Hart caught up with the group that's new to the Lowcountry. Yeah, good evening. A steady job for former inmates. That's one of the top priorities for Project Evolution. And tonight, volunteers say they plan to help former Lowcountry inmates get the tools they need to land one of those jobs and stay out of jail for good. Good afternoon, everyone, and praise the Lord, everybody. It looked like a church service. And we have come over hard times. And it kind of sounded like one, too. I need thee. We ask you to bless our efforts. But today's celebration at Greater Refuge Temple was mostly about the arrival of Project Evolution that recidivism rate is very high. Barbara Magwood founded the program in Washington, D.C. It provides former inmates basic computer skills and technology training to help them find jobs and hopefully stay out of jail. And they see what we have to offer. You know, you can see them breaking down and just coming around, and they, they love that. Once they feel accepted, everything changes for them. I think there's a great need. Walter Jackson pastors Greater Refuge. He says Project Evolution can do for former inmates what prisons can't. Many return more hardened than they went in. And, and hopefully, you know, we can show them a softer side. The crime rate has grown over the years. Clifford Smith's church in Yemassee is just miles from a federal and a county prison. He hopes to implement the program into his church. We've got folks that are going to be leaving those prisons. This program provides a foundation to help people get jobs, get training, and know that they don't have to repeat some of the same mistakes. Mistakes this program hopes to prevent and an answer to prayer. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Both for Project Evolution and hopefully for those helped because of it. Some of them come in with this attitude like, I don't want to do this because I'm not going to make it. All we need to do is encourage them and show them love, and they're going to come around. I know they are. And officials with the Department of Corrections say about 10,000 inmates are released from South Carolina prisons every year. Tonight, the director of Project Evolution says the step now they need to take is help identify the people in the low country who need their help the most. But we're in downtown Charleston this evening. That's the latest. I'll send it back to you. Bernie, thank you. There are 18,000 inmates housed in South Carolina prisons today. Officials said that number, though, is down from 25,000 inmates a decade ago.